you know, certain artists and stuff like that, I'm not sure if you like this, they're really picky of like who they do tracks with and stuff like that. And their penmanship, they hold it to a high regard, right? And I'm pretty sure, I feel like that's the vibe I get from you. So when you were, you know, rock bottom and all of this good stuff, like, I pass this above it. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Professional weed passer, because I don't smoke. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it, when y'all in the studio, was it a competition? Like, was y'all trying to, like, oh, I'm about to have a better verse than you? Cause Somewhat. Somewhat. I think everybody should. I think it's good to have a competitive nature, but even if you're on, your, on the same team with cats. Yeah. Because it pushed everybody. It make you know you can't come here bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do it. You better come with that shit, or it ain't going to make it. And then Rock will tell you, you can't go on there, that shit ain't fire. Mm. He used to do it like that. Like everybody, like, nah, that ain't it. Let's go but back nowadays, niggas don't do that, huh? Even though that never happened to me. They don't do that, nah, Nowadays, niggas be trash and still have had their mans on the song just off the strength. Because, like, you nah, know what I'm saying? because now I think they, it's about, I call a lot of this shit microwave music. It's quick, mm. it's, it's here, then it's gone. Now it's time for another project. It don't have like a lot of. Longevity, some of them. not all of it. Some of these cats out there got fire ass shit. You know what I mean? I don't knock everybody. Like I said, some of them I like, and some of them I think will have a lot, a lot of longevity. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, the way this game set up now, man, so many guys rapping, cats just trying to hurt me. They shut it out, get it to the people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just get a little cool off a little. Let's drop a whole nother thing. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I don't think they really take their time to make sure everything, to try to make it better than the next song. Even yeah. if you, I mean, better than the last song. Even if you can't. That should be your goal to I me. Mean, that's why I don't do a whole lot of projects. I ain't got 20 albums. Some niggas got 10, 12. I don't got all that many albums, bro. Mm -hmm. But I put out stuff that's quality that every song you hear is going to at least be good or great. I don't really go in the studio and just throw stuff together. It's two or three tracks that's good. The rest is album fillers. I don't rap like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a big demand to get stuff out nowadays. Everybody trying to put stuff out quick. So. Oh, no, that's a two-part question, though. Okay, good. Because now I'm going to the feature aspect. So, are you one of the ones? Because, like, how Jay Z, he people be wanting the Jay Z feature. You know what I'm saying? He might turn them up nah. Are you like, even if they got the bread, are you like, nah, I'm, I'm not with that. I ain't, I ain't getting on that track. No, nah, if you want to work, I'm gonna work with okay. you because okay. it's your track. It ain't me. I'm just doing my job. I'm gonna okay. get on there and do what I do. As far as the, you know, what I say from yeah. my mouth and lyrically, but. You know, I don't turn cats down because I was a young cat one time and it's cats who fans and really respect what I do. I ain't gonna just be bold like that. Nah, bro, I ain't, you know, it ain't this type of quality, huh? I'm not tripping like that, bro. I expect it to be, yeah. though. If you want me on something, you should be putting out <clears throat> some quality to give to people. Yeah. But I don't turn really nothing down. You gotta be almost like just preposterous. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some bullshit. Like, some bullshit. For me to turn down some money, I gotta say. Cause okay. It's about business. My job is hiring me for a service, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know what I mean? So that's it. That's like if you was doing you carpet cleaning or something. If you had this just a, you know, just putting out there like that. And you go to a house, you don't care if the house is raggedy or not. You You're going to be in some house that's plush in the motherfucker. Some house going to be like, this bitch barely standing. Mm -hmm. But your job is to clean this mm -hmm. carpet. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm going to clean the carpet. Hope I can get out this bitch alive. Yeah. So it's about business with me. I don't really trip as much about. You know, I can't do that. It depends who it is. Now, if somebody I don't fuck with or something on some real uh, personal type shit, then no, I don't even feel what kind of money you got. You know what I mean? Because I got a lot of morality and ethics about shit. Well, but just on, if I don't care about the music as much, I might even give them a little pointer or two. You know, a lot of times people don't want to hear your critiques. People, they, they thin skin. So a lot of people don't like constructive criticism. Yeah. So a lot of times I just do my job and I go. But I always try to stay when I, after I'm done recording, I don't rush out. I stay and listen and see how they gonna mix it a little, just to let me know where I want my drop set, certain stuff, to try to oversee it a little, but make I don't sure never really yeah, just be sure like, oh no. Cause like it is niggas that do they sing get the fuck on. <laughs> it's some niggas that don't even go to the studio, they do their own yeah, shit, just send it, it over. Too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But see, that's when it's non-personal. Like, that's the thing about me, I'm a personal type guy, man, cause I understand how yeah. this work, the fans make you. Yeah, yeah. Fast. A lot of people don't think that, they think they make themselves, man. A lot of niggas real cocky. I'm wrong being confident. You supposed to be confident or why you doing this shit, but. You know, so it, you got to know how to deal with the public too, man, and deal with be a people person. To me, it's deeper than just you kicking some verses and by. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't one of them niggas that just eat great poupon. I eat French's. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the hood, man. So that way, I'm, you, know, you can see I'm pulled up. What up? I'll be there. Boom, here. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like you had to go to no managers and all Facts. that. Yeah, man. I and I respect. And I got managers. I got managers, but I don't. Some stuff I ain't on my own, bro. Cause I, you know, it ain't that serious. You know? Yeah, a lot of man. We be trying to reach out to niggas. I'm talking about niggas that you we would think that we had a relationship with beforehand. Like you know what I'm saying? Hey man, yeah. slide through. And they be like, Are we here? Well, come Contact dog in here, let me know about this. And I'm yeah. like, nigga, what? I got your number. Like, you know what I'm saying? That type yeah. of shit. And like, we have no type of personal relationship before today. Like, professional relationship, any day. Like, we bumped into each other a couple times or stuff, but they got reached out to him. You know, this is what we're doing. We love to have you on the platform. He hit me back, let's set it up. You feel me? Like, that shit just, that shit, like, y'all niggas gotta step it up, man. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Help, help us out. You know what I'm saying? Help us help you. Help each other out. Help you know what I'm out, saying? Let me, let me promote my man right quick. Not cutting you oh, off. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Kush 313, man. Check him out. Smoking. Yeah, That's yeah. strain, man. You know what I mean? And he in, the bill, man. he in the build, man. He in the Mr. Kush 313. Same thing on the gram. Hit him with this. Same thing, man. Mr. Kush 313. Fire, man. Zaza. And if I'm sleep by the end of the episode, nigga, y'all better go grab him. Boom. You feel me? <laughs>